Hi, this is part two from the video that I did either a day ago, a couple days ago. It just depends on when things get posted. I was talking about scientifically how energy works. So not your emotions, not your feels. It's the things that you can't see on a molecular level that impact your life. Um, and you know, you guys, I'm always trying to incorporate intellect with intuition because I think you need to learn how to use the laws of man with the laws of the universe in order for you to really step into your power and create the life that you want. And so the second thing that I wanted to talk about from that class that I taught that I thought was very interesting and I wanted to make sure that those students understood that at the time was that a lot of times, let's say you do get stuck in a negative situation and you're not able to get out of it. You have to put up with it. Um, you can't make any abrupt or sudden changes because we do live in the real world. We can't just always do what we want to do and cut people off and all that kind of stuff. Think about how energy is transferred scientifically. And if you don't know how that happens, I would encourage you to study that because again, even though you may think things happen on a feelings level and you may feel like you're blocking stuff off, you may not really and truly be doing that. So first study how energy is transferred with the laws of man. Secondly, if you are in a situation like that, that I talked about in the last video and you feel like you can't abruptly get out of that situation, then this is one of the things that you can understand about the transfer of energy. If you don't put energy into a system, no reaction occurs. This is very important, very important for manifestation. So even a metaphysical energy from a metaphysical quantum standpoint, this is very important for you to understand. If you do not put energy into a situation, no reaction occurs. So let's substitute the word situation for a relationship, for an interaction, for a circumstance. If you are in a negative situation, circumstance, relationship, interaction, what is best for you is to remain neutral. Do not feed a situation that is disempowering and you will find that that situation will not take up as much of your power as it normally would if you had engaged in that situation and helped feed a reaction. If you don't fuel it, no reaction will occur. It will stop. So you have to learn how to block that. There are a lot of different ways that I teach my clients to block things, but one thing you could do is just remain neutral. Don't assign emotion to anything. Don't assign feeling to anything because that is what imprints things in your psyche and impacts the way that things continue to show up in your life. Feelings charge certain things in your life. Feelings charge thoughts, feelings, charge manifestations. So if you don't want things to continue a certain way, stop it. Don't engage. And the key word here is just detachment. Learn how to detach from a situation. Learn how to be a neutral observer, especially if it's something that you don't agree with, something that you don't like, something that is less than optimal for yourself. This goes the other way though. If there is something very positive in your life, if there's something that you really love, if there's something that you would like to have more of in your life, when those situations occur, if you want to fuel that reaction, then put more energy, put more feeling, put more emotions into those things. And those will help to supercharge the positive things that happen in your life. And you could even do this in a different way. I teach my clients the difference between affirmations and confirmations. And if you really want to learn how to transmute negative energy, so those negative situations, you're not just being neutral, you are transforming them into positive situations, then I would encourage you to learn how to use confirmations to transmute energy. I've done a video here on my Instagram a while ago about that, but you know, I get more deep and more in depth in my VIP classroom that my private clients get access to. So they learn how to really do this more optimally. Anyway, so that is the message for today. I hope that this message along with the message previously help you put the two together. Don't be delusional. Again, I always teach my clients, it's not just about looking at one area of your life. 
I break it down into, I think, seven areas in order for them to be able to really examine so that every area of their life, they can see if it's on point or not. And I would encourage you to develop a system so that you do the same and then ponder these two things that I've left you with over the last couple of days and see how they fit in with your life and see where you can learn how to be more neutral, learn how to transmute things and learn how to fuel things that are happening in your life that is more positive. So anyway, I will talk to you guys in the next video. I would love it if you would comment. Send me comments after you watch both part one and part two of this video. Tell me what you think about what I'm saying. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Um, how have being in negative situations impacted you versus positive situations? Um, are you someone that detaches? Are you someone that needs to work on your level of detachment, et cetera? I would just love to see what you're going through, see your point of view. So leave me comments, interact. I want some feedback. I could be totally delusional so you guys can check me and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.